Hello everyone, so today's video is a bit different. I'm gonna do an unboxing and I'm gonna say what I normally do, but that's me, what I normally do with bar brushes. So what are we gonna use? It's gonna be the Smoke uh, 1800 bar brush. Now, comes in a normal cardboard box, actually I like this mechanism, it's a cardboard thing inside, there we go, as the stop stopper so that the, the brush doesn't come loose, there we go, that's the mechanism there, and wrapped in a paper with the branding, smoke branding there, so nice one, really lovely, I leave everything there on the back, wow, it's actually small, a small brush, but lovely, I like the, the finishing on the wood there, really nice, and it's a bar brush, but I don't know if this is painted or what it is, now because it's new it's very very rough and stiff. Uh, I'll give you a second there. I have another bar brush here, the Omega, which I don't know if you guys can see, but she's not wet and she's already pretty soft because it's broken. Now I know there's um, ways of breaking it fast, uh, like cold water, leave it on the fridge uh, for a day, pick it up the other day, leathering and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not one to do that, but that's me. I like a bit of roughness and I like to feel the difference from shave to shave going going down. Like when I got this one, for example, uh, the only thing I did at the, at the time, I just got to have a glycerin soap and I washed it properly the first time before I used uh, and then I just have been using it all the time. Um, this is probably the brush that I use the most, uh, maybe not on videos because uh, I had shave at least once a week minimum, uh, sometimes twice, um, and this is the, the brush that I use the most. That's why it has, it's broken and it's less than a year and it's already proper broken. I love the softness as soon as you put some, um, some uh, uh, warm water on it. Now, so, I have another bar brush that it has, I, I did exactly the same, it's not here now at the moment. No, I would say my daughter used it. Um, and I, that's what I like to do with bar brushes. Um, I normally just wash it. I have actually a soap that I don't use. Uh, and I'm going to do it here, you guys can see. I'm just wet it with a bit of warm water. Just leave the warm water come up. Um, I tend to avoid using, uh, like putting a lot of water on the, the handle. Uh, sometimes, like if I'm going for a shower for example, sometimes I use a small cup with some warm water. <clears throat> I just fill it up with water. I leave the brush there soaking for a bit. That's what I'll do here. And we can break for, for the next one. I'll leave it for, I don't know, two, three minutes just so that it soaks in some water there and afterwards I pick up it can be any any, any soap um, I'm not going to use the glycerin today I actually am going to use a, a shaving soap that I don't use at all um, this actually was a friend of mine that gave it he didn't use it either and he gave it to me I don't even know what brand it is uh, he didn't remember either but um this is proper soap. I would say it's probably a really old, old soap. It doesn't have, it doesn't have any branding whatsoever. And the scent is of a proper old soap. Uh, and that's what I'm going to use, same as I use on the, the other bar brush. So what I'll do is I'll just wet, wet it. Actually before, I'm just going to, the water, I don't know if it, it's kind of murky there. I don't know if you guys can see. So that means there was a lot of dirty stuff there. Change the water completely, it's kind of brownish. 
there. So that's why you should always wash the brushes. It doesn't matter what brush it is. Can be boar, can be badger, can be horse hair, or even the synthetics. Always wash it first and leave it soak for a bit. Same way I'm gonna do here, and we're gonna leave it a bit more. Just a small bit. I'll cut off and then I'll show you what I'll do with the with the soap. I'll see you in a bit. We're back, so I left it soaking there for I would say about three, four minutes. Uh, the water is still really murky. I don't know if it shows on camera there, but it's really, really murky. So I'm just gonna throw it out. Now, put some clean water on the cup so that we can soak it back again in a minute. What I'll do is I'll go into any puck of soap, doesn't matter what soap it is, doesn't need to be a, a shaving soap, but I'll, I'll use a shaving soap in this case and I'll just go and leather like you would leather normally and just go do it. I normally do it for about 5 to 10 minutes depending on my mood but this is just the first thing I do to a bar brush before I used it. After that I don't do it anymore, I'll just use it. And I like to break it by using it, not uh, just this. This is more like a cleanup and uh, the activa activation of the, the breaking of the brush. Like So this is what I'll do. I'll just load up and I'll stay here for a while. You can see there, I'll just put this down. I normally would do, sometimes I do it on my hand and I just keep leathering on my hand and I can actually feel the difference already. It's actually, I have to say, this smoke bar brush is not as stiff as my other bar brushes and this is the first use. Uh, for, by the way, I forgot to show you, there's the branding on the bottom there. Uh, I would say it was probably burnt into the into the wood, which is lovely. I actually like this handle, suits my hand perfectly. Uh, now, I normally would lather on my hand, just so that I feel exactly how the, the bristles are. And I'll just lather here for a couple of minutes. I don't do like some people, I know people like to leave this for overnight, and then the following day, warm water, and leather it again and all that stuff. You can do that uh, if you prefer. I, I like a bit of roughness and I like to feel the... Um, but that's me. I like to feel the, 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 bar, uh, the bar brush breaking with time and use. Um, I'm actually finding very... Actually, this, um, these bristles of this smoke uh, are not that rough. The other, the other bar brush I have there, like this one when it came was, this is the Omega 46, I think. Yeah, it's the longer one. Um, and uh, it was really, really hard, even after soaking it. And this one is not, it's actually really nice, I have to say. And soft already. Now it's not broken, don't get me wrong. Um, the other thing is that you'll get uh, some bristles coming off. I already had one there. But um, there's not that much there for the first time. Normally on the cleanups with the other ones I always had loads of bristles coming up. So I'll say this is properly well done. And these bristles are lovely. Actually really soft already. Let's say I'm going to enjoy to use this one on the next shave. Today we won't do a shave. So, as I was saying, there's loads of people that do other techniques to break their, um, their bar brushes. Like, um, I know there's the trick of the cold water. You fill up a cup with cold water, put the brush in, leave it overnight on the fridge. Um, following day, come out do same as I'm doing now um, and do it two three times you know two three nights let's say it that way now I'm just doing this not to properly break it as I told you because I like to break it by use and um, for my broad brushes 
because I had shave as I told you so I don't do it on video because that's my time I do it in my showers and um, that's how I've been ba breaking my bar brushes is in the showers when I do my head shaves and I, I really really enjoy it a lot and I would say I'm gonna definitely enjoy this one even though it's smaller than the other ones but these bristles are actually really soft already I have to say I don't think this is gonna need much break breakage on this smoke 1800 I love the handle I have to say the way we can pick it up could have been a bit bigger if it was a bit bigger it would be even better but the format of the handle is actually nice and I love the wood love the wood love the finishing there and you have the ring metal ring there so lovely lovely jubbly so I'll show you what I do then I'll just wash up the brush there I'll take all the soap there you go all cleaned up I'll pick up a towel I'll just clean it up there there's a few bristles coming off and then there we go plenty of yeah you can see some bristles there coming small little ones I have to say that's it and then I'll just hang it on one of my I should have had this ready I'll just pick up some hanger this one is actually small so I need another one I have other ones and I'll just leave it there drying like this that's what I do I would say in about this one which is already really soft I have to say I don't think I'll take it will take much time to break it you can see that the bristles are already kind of going sideways so nice one uh, with this one took me about month month and a half of using it every every week once or twice depending so every head shave I did I normally would use this one and uh, it broke nicely it's really really rough still but it's as soon as I put some hot water on it I'll just soften up brilliantly and this one I have to say the smoke the bristles are already really soft it kind of the softness of this one is kind of like this one after a month I have to say so that's it this was a short video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and I'll see you for the shave I would say probably Friday I'll see you for the shave bye bye ciao